What is up, guys? <laughs> literally tried to record so many videos and you know something just goes sour it's just the business of vlogging I guess <laughs> um, so I have like so many random clips that I'm probably going to try to put together for this video just to keep you guys updated with what I'm doing because a lot of change is happening here on the Marissa Christine in the Marissa Christine world, and um, I kind of just wanted to talk to you guys about change because we are changing all of the time. Like right now, I just changed again, and I just changed again, and I just changed again. The only problem is, is that you keep the idea of your old self so alive that you tend to stay your old self. But the moment you truly understand that literally every second you get to change and you can change dramatically or you can stay stagnant. But if you want to change dramatically, you continuously evolve and change yourself and change your behaviors. It doesn't, it's not like a magic pill you take one day and all of a sudden your life is different. Like... There is a baby step every single time you are changing. And I didn't fully grasp this until I looked back and was like, oh my God, so much has changed. Like, and every, like every day changes my life dramatically and every second dramatic, like changes my life dramatically. But it's because I don't. I don't look to my past. I know it's there. I know my past exists at one point, but there's no need to continuously relive those memories and relive that Marissa. So you, so what I have truly done is every day I try to just be better and better and better and better and better. And I think that's like why my life is turning the way it's turning because I just can't, I won't stop. Like, I felt positivity now. I felt the change it makes in your life, and like I will never give it up again. Um, so I just wanted to give that quick little, like little snippet of a positive thought I'm having at this very moment. But it's just how my brain works, okay, guys. So um, I think in some of this video there is like right before the lunar eclipse and like what I was going on through then but then a bunch of people ended up coming over and I didn't want to record any of it because just like it's such an intimate moment so I didn't record anything and then um what else oh and then I did a huge home goods Trader Joe's haul because now she's back. It's, it's already Monday, but my cousin slash roommate Ariana is officially back all the time. And like, I don't know what it is, but it's not like I'm self conscious going to the gym. I just hate going by myself now. So she's going to start going with me. So, and she's like super into it too. So it'll be easier for me to have someone like motivate me back. So her and I are back to that fit life and I've been eating like crazy you guys I at least I've gained at least six pounds that I've kept so I'm super grateful for that because I was struggling to gain some damn weight and it just I wasn't digging how it was making me look anymore but anyway that's besides the point so I did a Trader Joe's haul home goods haul and the lunar eclipse haul and then I don't know what else I yeah it's gonna be such I don't want to make it a long video, so I want to make this short, but I'm glad I got to talk to you guys about change and where I'm at in life right now. And then enjoy the rest of these little clips that I'm about to show you if you're interested. Um, so yeah, I'll probably, I'll see you guys at the end of this back in this like outfit. The damage is done. <laughs> Okay guys, so today I think is a good day to do a haul 
So obviously we got some home good stuff. And I went crazy at Trader Joe's because it is serious time to get back into that fitness life. I even just received my workout bands in the mail. So, we're going to talk about all this. Okay, so some other stuff I got are these bowls, which I love. So they didn't come together. I have always liked to mismatch bowls. So I got one kind that looks like this with a really cute inside. And then the other one is gray. All gray with a little bit of accents right there. They're super cheap, four bucks each. Not much more you could ask for. And then when you stack them, they all look different, which I like. So I got some new bowls. Love them. And then this used to be in the living room, which it's now in the dining room. I got these little purple roses at Trader Joe's. I got all these candles, which if you guys know me, I'm obsessed with candles. This is a butter holder, silver one. Dog, because we're ruled by dogs around here. And I found this really cute hammer that comes with all these little tools with it, which I really need because I need to still put up all my outlets. So for seven bucks, super cute, amazing. There's that. Then my living room got another little facelift. So what I did is I got a bigger tray because I don't like my coffee table. Still in search for the perfect one. There's Gambino, per usual. I got these really cool wood fake flowers because I always put flowers here and they die super fast. So while there's not flowers here, these, these, there's these awesome wooden gray flowers that go perfectly with the couch. I mean, come on. Then I got this little Buddha that says, Peace, Mother Chuckas. Got all these candles. Same thing, same things. But this is my favorite purchase of the day, which I almost didn't buy. And then, if you guys didn't see my last video, my lamp was broken. My nails are ratchet as hell. Excuse my nails. Um, so I got this new lamp, which I love. It's nice and tall. And then I had, actually, these candle holders. I actually had these candle holders right there. But now they're here. And I got some new candle holders for side table. And they don't go together, which... As you guys can tell, I love doing. So I took all these random ones that kind of went together and I meshed them together. And then I got these beautiful lavender gray candles that will never be burned because they're for decoration. <laughs> um, these were $14.99 each and then this one was $19.99 each and these were five bucks each. Oh, this one was seven bucks. Five bucks. So all together, this whole thing like forty bucks. This was fifty. A little pricier. Then all that stuff, yeah. <laughs> so I love it. It's so cute. My house is coming together. I freaking love it. And then we got Jenga Bang. What do you get? You show me everyone we got? Say I got sloth. This is my sloth. Yeah, he loves his Oh, Gambino. That's Gambino's bed. Django likes it, I think, because it's dirtier. But I got him a new bed that will be lucky if he likes. I thought it was cheaper than what it was. I would have gotten a way cuter one for the price of this one, but whatever. Should last. Nice and big for my big boy as he's continuously choosing the little dog bed. Well, I guess I got you the dog bed, huh? You're the smart one, aren't ya? You say, well, you got the sloth, I got the new dog bed. Ew. <laughs> my mirror is 
disgusting. That's gross. <laughs> oh my god, what are you doing? <gasps> what are you doing? Oh, bye. See you later. So, what is up, guys? <laughs> Bare face for ya. Just came about to get ready because a friend is on her way. Oh, well, no. She'll be on her way over very shortly. And I have to clean my house and get ready because who wants to see me like this? Is there? No, there's not. I totally thought there was lipstick in my teeth per usual. Um, okay, so what I want to talk to you guys about today is we got some lunar eclipse Mercury retrograde thing going on right now and honestly Everyone had me scared. I was like shivering in my boots. I was freaking out. I was like, oh my god like Like I, I was just freaking out and it was kind of bothering me because I'm like Why am I freaking out about something that I don't know about? And I think that's why I was freaking out the most because when I don't have information or knowledge on a subject and like everyone I know is kind of talking about it or it's being posted all over my Instagram, just that fun stuff. Like I've never really taken Mercury retrograde seriously and done a lot of research. I've only kind of listened to old friends I had and just people that, you know, everyone lives in their own universe. That's my philosophy. Like whenever people ask me about anything when it comes to the universe or five you know, DMT or just anything in general, like I don't have your answers. I have my answers and everyone's life is so different but if you see similarities in our personality then chances are my solutions could be your solutions but whole, all of life is trial and error. Like not one person has the exact answers, not resource has the exact answer except for basically science and math which are just facts but when it comes to things like spirituality, religion, God, higher power, plant, like all that stuff that literally like we don't have actual proof of, we just have people's stories, um, I just always say go with your own thing. <laughs> that's part of the whole I am that I am, right? Like that's one of my biggest mantras in life is I am that I am and if I am that I am then I create my reality which is my reality not your reality. Ow. Damn. So, what I'm about to talk to you about in this video, just remember it's my reality. It's not yours. It's not your mom's. It's not anyone's. It's Marissa's reality. And if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. So, without further ado, let's get into this video. Um, okay, so Mercury Retrograde. I'm just going to start there because that was freaking me the fuck out again because you know, about a year and a half ago, two years, like, I was, I had, like, a childhood spirituality backbone and, like, wisdom slash foundation that I had for myself, but in my adult life, I completely lost it, and I was re-shown it through my own path. Like, weird things were starting to happen and where I was like, what the heck? And, like, I read the book, The Universe Has Your Back, and I started talking to animals and just, like, that kind of stuff. Um, but there's so much to know. And, like, you meet so many people that bring you so much knowledge and things you didn't know about. And one time I was going through, oh, no. Yeah. I was going into, I was, like, in a really weird place in my life. Like, everything was going haywire. And one of my old friends was like, it's Mercury Retrograde. And, like, ever since then, like, my first initial gut feeling with Mercury Retrograde is like hold the fuck on because shit's about to get hard and like it just became like such an anxious feeling that before it happened like I just like automatically assumed my whole life was gonna fall apart blah blah blah, blah. and then during the last Metrograde I made a vow to myself that I wasn't gonna look for the retrograde like I wasn't going to search the date I wasn't gonna do anything like if it if I just so happened to come across a post or something where it was letting me know that it was happening, that I would, you know, obviously have. Same recording. Oh, thank God. You have no idea how much I just panicked right now. 
Um, so I was just like, don't read into it, don't look too much into it, because I started feeling like it was more of a manifestation of like thinking everything was going to go apart and expecting everything to go to fall apart that it was. And I was like, okay, and like there's a pattern here that needs to be addressed because I really feel like it's all part of manifesting. Like now that there's such a bad energy and like whole thing around Mercury retrogrades, like everyone's like, oh my God, it's happening. Like there's these huge posts, which are like, would scare you. Like you think about it and you're like, oh my God, like this is happening to this person, this is happening to this person. Like what's gonna happen to me? And then like, that's called manifesting at its finest. Like that's you like attracting that into your life. So um, the last Mercury retrograde, I didn't pay any attention to it. It wasn't towards the end until a post came up and I was like, damn, I was like, something was going on at that point in my life and I was like, mm-hmm, okay. And like there I was again, like making an excuse for the Mercury retrograde as to like why my life was falling apart. Um, so recently, uh, it was like two days ago, I went to the psychic eye, which I'm gonna show you guys some things I got for this. So I went to the psychic eye, which is this spiritual shop in Studio City area. And it's just really convenient for me because I live close to it. I'm near all the time. Like it's just an easy one to go to that has basically everything you need. It's like your one stop shop. Uh, it's like your target <laughs> for spiritual shops. You go to other ones, like the other ones closer to me are very like, that doesn't matter besides the point. Anyway, target of spiritual shops. So I go there and normally they have like amazing books on this one table when you first walk in. And I always buy a book from there. It's just like a habit of mine. And I could not find a freaking book that was intriguing me. I was like, <sighs> like I either read all of them or they just were like, meh. Like I just, I wasn't digging it. And there's this one, hold on one second actually. You kidding? So there was this book, The Power of Mercury, and I saw it there last time, and I wasn't that intrigued because I was like, do I really want to learn about planets? Like, ugh, I don't know about it. But I mean, when I went back the second time, there's no other books again besides this one. I was like, okay, girl, you're meant to freaking read, it. and that's always how my favorite books go. It's like the ones. I'm like, eh, I won't like it, and I ended up like obsessing about that was, again, this book, The Power of Mercury. Highly, highly, highly recommend. And honestly, your girl's intuition is fucking insane. That's all I gotta say. That's all I have to say. <laughs> but all of our intuition is insane. I just am one that listens to it. A lot of people try to ignore their intuition when I'm like, no, 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 no. All your answers lie within that place, girl. Every answer you need for your life is in your little gut, I promise. So, back to my point. I'm really, like, just, you know, wanna, whatever. You guys are just seeing my head. It's fine. I'm gonna get this room situated a little bit better, but honestly, it's my favorite filming room because I can slide the glass door shut. And it is silently shielded, and I feel like I'm private. I don't know why I get so weird about, like, talking in a whole empty house because I'm like, Hello. Anyway, <laughs> um, so this is my new favorite book. I highly recommend it, okay? Like, highly, highly, highly recommend it. So, Leslie McGurk. Oh, we'll see if that's the way you spell it. So, this woman has just changed my freaking life. So, she has 25 years of experience in astrology. She's an astrologer. And you know, the resources that I got my information from prior were not astrologists, were not people that studied astrology, were from sources I didn't know. So finally, I researched myself, and this is my reality, and this is my research, and this is what resonates with Marissa's soul. Those people's opinions, those people's things, whatever, whatever, that's theirs. And that's the thing about about life that I want to really sink into you guys today. It's like, you are you. Like, the point of being you is to be 
you and to have your own opinions, to have your own beliefs, because, like just to do your your own thing, you know, and like search for your answer, search for your happiness, search for your joy, like what other people are look like they're doing or what other people are doing, like is for them, not for you, like just, oh, this was reassurance to me that like I have to go my own way. <laughs> um, not that this is like a special book that obviously is in bookstores, so anyone can read this and have a better opinion of a Mercury retrograde. I just so happen to be one that is not on Instagram right now because everyone on my Instagram right now, I can't scroll through my Instagram today without like so many posts about tonight because tonight is the freaking lunar eclipse and like yeah, it's a very powerful freaking day, don't get me wrong, I'm gonna get to that too, but like chill, like chill, it's all what you make it, like if you make it this big, monstrous, scary thing, it's going to be that. Like, that's always been my gut feeling. So anyway, back to the book. This book proved all that correct. So Mercury, let's just do a little history on Mercury and like why it even matters. Like Mercury, when I hear about that, I'm like, what the fuck does that have to do with me? Like, what what do you mean that has to do with us? Like, ugh, I, didn't, I didn't understand. Basically, so this book just paints it all out perfectly for us, okay? So, I'm a Virgo, you might be a Capricorn, you might be a Pisces, you might be a Leo, I don't know. But, I know for a fact, I have met so many other Virgos, and like, there's so many different Virgos, like, there are Virgos, don't get me wrong, you can categorize them, like, you can be like, oh yeah, that's a Virgo, I see it, but like, we're all different. It's like saying all Mercedes are the same, like Mercedes is just one freaking car. No, Mercedes has coupes, they have SUVs, they have G-Wagons, they have AMG versions, they have regular versions, like there's so many different Mercedes and when you say you're a Virgo, it's just your sun sign, it's just that, like that's just like your all, all around category, but it's not like your every characteristic, it's not your exact personality. That lies with where the planets were when you were born. And I didn't know that until this book, so I'm super intrigued because it explains so freaking much. And Mercury is the planet of communication, so wherever the sign, wherever Mercury was and the sign that it fell into, like that is what is this, <laughs> this coming out of my mouth, like that's that sign and that characteristic. But I'm a Virgo, like the things I do, like I'm super neat and tidy, like. I'm obsessive about things, blah, 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 but my communication skills come from Scorpio, which makes so much freaking sense. Like, once I started figuring this out, it was crazy. So Mercury is important because obviously it's our way of communicating. We are the only mammal on this planet that has a language like this that's universal, that, you know, we communicate with each other, blah, 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 blah. Like, I, I don't know if animals speak. In their language, we'll never fully know that, but this is our language, and this is how we communicate, and the sign that you are in Mercury is what dictates that. That's like more of your personality when it comes to your voice and like how you express yourself and your thinking, not like everything, just like that specific part of you. And I found that so freaking fascinating, you have no idea. Like, so many people I thought were like, this are really something else, and I'm like, oh my, it like opened up my world when it came to astrology. I was like, damn, I know nothing, but this shit is fascinating. Fascinating stuff. So, she talks about that, Mercury bringing the planet that helps you with communication. Obviously, like, that's what, one of the main things with Mercury retrograde is that all your communication is like, way off, which, yeah, it is, like, we're manifesting that. Let's say that again. We're manifesting that. Like, if you look for trouble, you're going to find it. And when you're like, Mercury retrograde is a terrible fucking time, like, you're like looking for a bad time. So it's like, here you go. And then that, this is exactly what this person said. The, his, the history of why retrogrades and lunar eclipse are so scary is because back then, like, our ancestors had to look to the sky to, like, see where they're going and 
their navigation and the time of the year, blah, 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 blah. And like they would look up into the sky sometimes and like see Mercury and be like, what the fuck? That thing's going backwards. So it would scare them. And yeah, you know what? Like it, that shit resonates with us. So it stayed with us with generations and generations and generations. And though it looks like it's going backwards, it's really not. We're just like kind of catching up to it. And we're like, woo. And we're like, why is it going backwards? It's like, I'm not. You're just finally catching up to me. <laughs> And, you know, all it does is slow everything down. And, like, once you remember that, that, like, it's just slowing down, it's okay. Like, think about a car. Like, if you had a car that only went forward, like, it would be miserable. Like, you have to be able to reverse. And, like, sometimes Mercury is just, like, helping you reverse a little bit and be like, wait a second, what's going on here? And, like, once she put it into those words, I was like... Like, just such a different outlook. Like, such a different outlook. Like, everyone's so scared right now. Like, seriously. And I'm over here like, I can't wait. Like, I am so excited for this Mercury retrograde because it always puts things exactly where they're supposed to be if you really think about it. Like, we're supposed to go backwards sometimes. We're supposed to slow down sometimes. Like, that's okay. The only problem why millennials, I feel like, have such a hard time with it is because we are instant gratification millennials where we get everything now, 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 now. And when things go backwards, we take it as like fucking up on a video game and like going down a few levels when it's like, no, like that life is not like that. Like you just, you know, you need to go backwards sometimes. You need to have more of a different visual. You need to look at things differently. Like, ah, uh, there's so much positivity behind this. It's insane. And I just... I really, really, really hope you guys take some time to really research the Mercury retrograde because, you know, a lot of, a lot of psychics, a lot of spiritual people are scam artists too, you know? Like, it's, it's out there, it's everywhere, we can't, we can't be alarmed to it and a huge marketing, marketing scheme is, you know, Mercury retrograde, how to survive, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, chill, chill. Like, it's really not that serious. It's all what you make it. Thank you guys so, so, thank you guys so, so, so much for watching this video. Um, if anything I talked, I don't know. I don't know what else, I don't really know what else to say. But I'll see you guys really, really shortly. Okay. Okay. <laughs>